welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a best of seven. Uh, this is the semifinal, the second semifinal of King of the Desert 2 tournament. Winner of this best of seven moves on to face the Viper in the finals. And for those here on Twitch, that will be on Sunday at 15 GMT or 10 AM EST. We have Leary in the blue. He's in the north of the map. He's playing as the Japanese. And then we have Vivi near the south of the map. He's playing as the Magyars, and he just called his restart in game one. And oh my god, this is so good for Leary. Now, Leary immediately comes forward, recognizing that Vivi's called his restart, and he's laming. So he's just stolen two goats from Vivi. Into the TC? No. They're so close, man. Yeah. They're so close. He might even steal another goat, but Vivi, Vivi sees where he is, and that's big for Vivi to get that first hit with the TC. Yeah. Well, Vivi will be down two goats. And already this set is off to a lightning fast start. The thought process from Leary is, okay, if I steal a pig, if I steal goats from my opponent, he's unable to call a re throughout this whole best of seven, so why not go for it? And it paid off for him. Lost a little bit of HP, Dave, but he'll steal a bit of food. I think that, wait. Look at, oh, yeah. he can't see anything. Oh, he found his boar, thank God. His boar was sitting in the one last tile. <laughs> oh, okay. But the map's certainly more open than it was before the restart was called. Uh, and they're they're so much closer together. There's this wide path between the players. We'll keep an eye on that. Vivi can push in his his zebras. Uh, Leary, his main gold and his golds are just disgusting. Honestly, Dave, my goodness, look at his three golds all along the front. Can't easily wall that up. His zebras are even forward there. I think Leary will have to be aggressive. Well, I, they're both going to have to be aggressive. They're so close. Yeah. Like, look at... There's a giant pathway to the other base from, from every each player's TC. It's crazy. Well, I think that that would give Leary an edge, right? Because Leary has so much more flexibility as Japanese. He has the cheap lumber camps, the cheap mills, cheap mining camps, so he can get the barracks up rather early. And also, he's the faster attacking uh, man-at-arms. I'm pretty certain that Leary will be going for Man at Arms. I wonder what Vivi will do, though. He has three on wood right now. So perhaps he's thinking scouts. That is not going to be easy to, to pull off against Leary, who's going to be sending Man at Arms and potentially Spearman forward. I'm thinking scouts, a uh, single female villager around to the left, <laughs> builds a tower on the wood line, and then loops around behind and towers the stone from Leary. Okay. Dave with the bold predictions, but is it bold when you say that when when Vivi's playing? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe that's not a bold prediction when we're talking about the dragon. <laughs> kind of expected to see some towers. Well, he, he's been doing that a lot recently. He doesn't send four villagers. He'll just send one forward. Mm -hmm. All right, he brings in his pig. And he's hoping to push in the zebras, which is really important, actually. The fact that he doesn't have even one in right now is a big deal because you need to advance pretty quickly if you're going scouts. He got loom too. Mm. Well, he is farming, but not the oh, strongest dark age for him. He didn't find two of his goats either, and Leary stole two goats. So, Where? yeah, Ooh, really. Yeah, you're right. Not great for Vivi here. Well, if he pushes two zebra in, he's fine. But my concern for him is... His uptime will be rather late. Leary will be going 22 pop-up, most likely, with Man-at-Arms. And if Vivi's 21 pop-up, he's not going to have any military to defend from that. He'll have to wall it out, which is easier said than done. And Vivi doesn't know where he is, either. Because mm, yeah. he had to push the Zebra. Yep. I, know, I mean, he knows he's close, because the scout got there in, like, 50 seconds yeah. to his base. So he's got to be close. And now Leary's going to block the Zebra. <laughs> Dude. Let's see if <laughs> it's a smart move. It's a smart move. Leary knows he has slightly less HP on his scout. And where's the where's zebra, zebra going? going? Okay, it, it's running away. More scared of Leary's scout than he was Vivi's. See, this hurts Vivi so much because he really needed that zebra. In yeah. There. Well, fortunately, he's up, but he has no food underneath his town center. He'll have to adapt to this, Dave. And he, he just kind of gives up on it now. Might even How build a third farm. How is he up first? These players are amazing. Well, he's adapted really well, and he'll build his other lumber camp on the left. Okay, I thought that was the lumber camp. That would be the house. He needs to build the lumber camp more on the hill. Perfect. And Vivi now sees that Leary's there. Will he see Leary's militia? 
He'll assume. It's Japanese. He's got to know. Okay, now he sees the barracks. Well, he didn't see the gold or anything yet. Yeah, he sees it. Now. Okay. So this is important for the dragon. Remember, Vivi will get extra attack on his scout starting in Feudal Age. What's, what's Leary up to with his female villager? Did you get the prediction wrong, Dave? Where's he going? Is he going to lame the zebra? Or is he going to tower? I think that's a tower villager. Oh, Vivi, don't go into the TC. That's not good to lose half that's the HP. Definitely, dude, that's a tower villager, all right? He's fat dragoning the fat dragon yeah. right now. Probably on the wood line. And here come the militia forward. Vivi is walling up safely. His wood line on the left is exposed slightly, but, you know, he's done well, Dave. He's building his stable. I don't think great Leary walls. will get in. Wow, really great job from Vivi to lock down this base here. I think the problem is he might not have enough food. Look at her! She's doing it! Wow! Oh my god! Leary's adapted his cell. Yeah, Vivi's trying to wall way too much. There's just no way he can full wall this base. There's no way. He fights against the scout. He sees the militia coming in. Can Leary get a vill pick? That's the question. Oh, Vivi sees the villagers there. So he's yep. building a counter tower, but he will lose a villager to the scout. And Leary, lightning fast start to game one, Dave. He lamed earlier, and now he could kill another villager. This is really bad for Vivi. That's dead vill. Leary will block that off, no problem. Jeez. Now will Leary get his tower up? He will not, and she's gonna die. Nope. Okay. I had the wrong player. I knew it was gonna happen. I just <laughs> had the wrong player. All right. Well, that that's a pretty big deal there because Vivi not only secures his wood line, but he kills the villager, and that's wasted stone for Leary. So now he's unable to build the tower at home if he needs it. And ninety-seven point one percent on that tower. But does Vivi have enough food for scouts, Dave? No, he doesn't. He hasn't created a single one. He's just farming away. And meanwhile, Leary's sending spearmen and archers forward already. His transition, his build looks really, really clean. And meanwhile, Leary... Oh, he's losing another villager. Wow. Oh, no. Yeah, Vivi's way behind. He might have killed that villager, but his eco has been a disaster. It's been a wreck after losing the resources. Oh, the archers... Into the TC, Vivi! Larry! Garrison! Vivi! What's Garrison! happening? Larry, get out of there! You... <laughs> Garrison Moore? The second and third seed of the tournament, by the way, guys. You could have killed all three of those. <laughs> it, it must be laggy. Uh, I, no, there was no way that was lag. They just weren't expecting that to happen. <laughs> There's no way that was lag. If that's lag, they need to fix the connections before they continue. It's kind of funny to see pro players like not react quick enough. Leary's badly housed. Like, this is... These are jitters, man. First this is game first of game of the day. Yeah. Yep. And the mill's dead from um, Vivi, so he can't go out to those berries without building a new one, and he can't make a market. Did he get a horse collar? Mill. Yeah, he did. He did? Okay. Because that would be a worrying thing. Well, one thing Vivi has done is he's... he's What I would call over-farmed. Yeah. I think that Vivi's realizing that he's pretty far behind, so he's going to try and build massive amounts of farms in hopes that he can catch up with the food but that will not give him an answer to archers and spearmen he's, he's tracking these archers he's trying to pick them off as they come across the map yep and uh making scouts and i think now he's building an archery range hiding that in the back he'll go into some skirmishers i like the decision gotta, to make the farms yeah he's got to deal with these men-at-arms before they kill the stable though Yep, good point. And his scouts probably need to get to Leary's base. Leary is pretty well protected. A spearman on the front there. Oh! Fighting with villagers versus Japanese man-at-arms. He feels like that's his only choice here, Dave. And you know what? Leary's tried to leave, and Leary loses a man-at-arm to the town center. The scouts from Vivi being a bit of a threat near the front of Leary's base. He's got two villagers out there. He's got to keep spears back because he doesn't want his archers being killed as they come out. Yeah. Think Vivi, though, he needs to do some damage because look at Leary's food eco. 400 food. He's building up towards Castle Age. So Vivi certainly needs to defend at home and he needs to respond forward. Killing the blacksmith villager. That's, that's decent. That delays him. Yeah, it delays him. 
down a villager now, and there's five scouts here. More villagers could go down to these five scouts. Oh, what is Leary doing? Well, there's First one more. The <laughs> Incredibly sloppy from him. It seems like he doesn't even re notice. All right, Vivi's actually slightly ahead in oh, villagers, stable died. but he lost the his stable. stable. Died. That's a big deal, but then again, Dave, now Leary's running into the town center fire once more. Vivi has skirmishers with fletching. Leary is just now getting fletching. Vivi's turned this around. He definitely has. Sure. It was a it was a combination of good walling, um, good micro with the scouts, and Leary just throwing. <laughs> he's had a few slips here, yeah. Yeah. Why is he losing all his archers there? Like run around. You you're not gonna win against the skirmishers. Yeah, it's, it's been messy. Six kills, but 13 deaths for Leary. Uh, Vivi, his food eco is probably going to climb behind this as well because he had all the farms, so he can catch up. And and how annoying is Vivi with the scouts? Yeah. Oh, Leary's going to add scouts. My goodness. He had the armor coming in. I think he canceled it. And when He canceled it as soon as Vivi saw the stable. Mm, good point. And Vivi losing two of those scouts. Wow. Shouldn't have run into the spears there, bud. Yeah, I, I think ideally... Oh! He kills a villager! Oh! Vivi! He's doing really well, and that's a weak villager. On the house, he sees it! He kills another one! Dave, the recognition from Vivi to realize those were weak vills, that is not easy. He had to click the vill HP as he's running around, realize they were weak, and he just killed two more of Leary's villagers. It's kind of funny because that's something Leary would usually do. Yeah. Right? And the tower from Leary is something Vivi would usually do. Maybe <laughs> they've swapped names. Maybe <laughs> there's a glitch in the matrix somewhere. That must be it. Uh, Vivi, he'll lose his villager on the market. And it's not easy for him to push out with his skirmishers now because Leary has a few scouts, so he needs to be careful. Uh, this, is a, this is a bit of slop in game one. It can only get better from here, but this is an even game now. Yep. Leary's got to be careful with these scouts and the skirmishers. Again, good fight for Vivi, right? There's no reason Leary goes, has to go in there. No. Why not He's just being too aggressive. pressure the other side? Yeah. I wonder if it's jitters. Might be. I, I wonder if it's jitters, like tournament jitters. Like sometimes you just feel it, and other times you feel out of it. I think. And Vivi. Oh no, I guess Leary's still going to click up first. Vivi has to invest a lot of resources into new stable, yeah. market, more skirmishers. Okay, Leary does the right thing and he runs back. That's that's the Leary we know, where he baits the spearmen in towards his archers. And Vivi has his market, Dave, so he might use that to, to balance things out a bit for him. But it is looking better for Leary now. He'll lose an archer or two, but if he advances to Castle Age faster and uses his scouts versus skirms, uh, he'll be okay. And just now getting horse car, okay, that explains some of the problems for Leary. Vivi's getting armor. He's not going up. He's getting armor for his and bloodlines for his scouts. He knows how close they are, man. If he gets the advantage in Feudal Age. He's getting two stables as well, Dave. And Leary yeah. only sees one. So there's about a, a one and a half minute window for Vivi to do damage. He could actually do this. Leary has not walled the front. And all those skirmishers coming in too? Leary needs to wall now. He doesn't. He's wow. not going to expect these upgrades. He's not going to expect these upgrades or the numbers from Vivi. Let's see. These scouts are like feudal age tanks right now. Oh my goodness. And Vivi, he's using the, he's using the skirms versus the spearmen. Leary could lose to this. How does he fight this? He can't. He pretty much can't. If, if Vivi uses his scouts versus Leary's scouts, then he takes over the gold. Right now, he's losing a few skirmishers, but... All in feudal pressure from Vivi, and he has more scouts coming forward. Leary doesn't seem concerned. Okay, now he's bringing the villagers back. He's not going to have gold once he gets to Castle Age. Do you remember where his other golds are? Gold to the right? Gold to the right? He can't take those. He's forced to tower, so he can't TC once he gets there. This is incredible play from Vivi. And he's coming forward with the tower. This is the dragon, guys. This is what we expected. He will tower half a dozen farms. He will and secure the gold. the gold. Oh, Leary's in trouble. This is the GG move. Leary's in trouble, man. What can he do? He can't do anything. He can make a knight or two. But I don't think that's going to be enough. All Vivi would need is a few spearmen forward, right? 
He's abusing the market to just get the gold to make a knight. Wow. Two stables. Barracks, archer range. Vivi's producing out of scouts. everything. And the scouts are going scouts in towards the wood line. There's a hole still. <gasps> no, no. Those villagers are going to die. The tower's it's up. Over. This is GG, isn't it? Wow, Leary did not expect this. Vivi had a really rough start to this game, but man, is he ahead now. Uh, he does need to to be Leary of the knights from Leary on the front. But once he kills those, Leary won't have the gold to make him anymore. Yeah, just target the knight. Once you kill the knight, yeah, Leary's calling the GG. What a play from Vivi. Who would have thought to do that? It's smart thinking. I guess he realized that Leary was going to click castle first. And he just went for it, man. And But, like... If you're in Leary's position at the same time, though, when you see that army of skirmishers and you're making archers, you got to wall the front of your base. He was really wasteful with his archers, wasn't he? Yeah. Had he kept some of his archers alive, he could have had them patrolling at home and he could have dealt with the scouts at the start, maybe towered his gold. But I'll tell you one thing, Leary did not expect that all in at all. He, he didn't expect it. When he was at Vivi's base, he didn't realize the scouts had that much armor. I think the armor and the bloodlines upgrade actually came in after Leary went back home. And then, you know, had he noticed that he would have towered or walled or something. Fat Dragon gets the win in game one, Dave. This is setting us up for a really good set of games. The 55 after that kills. Awful, it, I think he had like a pretty bad start, too, where he couldn't find four of his goats or two of them got steal it, stolen. He couldn't find the other two. Yeah. He's having problems pushing the zebra. Like, he barely even scouted Leary's base. He almost got towered there. Like, he lost his mill, like, four villagers in Feudal Age. It was really rough. That's a game that Leary normally wins. But Vivi, he gets the victory. And we'll move on to game two. Uh, guys, again, I probably won't get to the alerts today. At least not too much. But I do see all your names. Thank you. Uh, thank you, BG Rugger. I'll at least shout this out. He donated 15. He said, started playing this game in 2001. Thanks for getting me back into it. My pleasure, man. Thank you, guys. I hear the civs they have remaining. We just saw Magyars for Vivi. He's on the right side. And then we have on the left side, Leary, who just chose Japanese. So they'll have to choose the other civs. Where's the end of the Four Swords campaign? Ha! <laughs> Funny story there, <laughs> bud. Uh, it, it's never going to happen. <laughs> we had some issues. <laughs> we had some issues. We spent, we spent eight hours trying to beat a boss, like over multiple nights. And then someone recorded over the footage. I don't know who it was. I don't it even took, know how you can record listen, over footage it on a took, computer. It took eight hours for a 10-minute segment in that campaign. Eight hours for us to beat 10 minutes, and then I accidentally recorded over it. Yeah. How do you record over something? That's like a, a VHS Listen, tape. I, I can understand. Listen, I can explain it, but explaining it isn't going to make it any less embarrassing. So, oh so I'm just not going to explain it, okay? We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> uh, well, we are going to talk about game two. Leary needs to step it up. That was really sloppy by his standards. That was really, really sloppy. So I'm just going to randomly guess the civilizations here, and I'm going to say we will see Berbers for Leary, and I'm going to say that we will see Chinese for Vivi. You know what you We're could... see Malay Aztec. Ooh. Well, keep an eye on those mesosives. When they use the mesosives is important. I think that if you're leading in a set, you might opt to go with your slightly weaker civilizations. So maybe Mongols could be chosen here for Vivi. He could go forward, try and lame. If he were to win with Mongols here... That would be incredible because his strongest civs would be yet to come and he'd be two games up. Rude Tortoise says the, the dragon is kryptonite to Leary. I kind of agree. I think that Leary can struggle versus the dragon. Which is so interesting because Leary's so close to beating Viper anytime he plays him. But against the dragon, not so much. The red civilizations were the globally banned civilizations, Cape Bone. That's what they are. So, that was such a sick game. It's so rare that we get moments like that anymore. We used to get them more often in AOC. Yeah, it's very rare to see Feudal Age All-Ins, isn't it? Yeah, or like that one moment where one player just says, okay, 
I know you're going up to Castle Age. I'm just going to beat you in your transition. Well, the thing is, he still could have been okay. Not great, but he still could have been okay if he went Castle. Because he wasn't that far from clicking up. But he just mm -hmm. committed to it. It was it was impressive thinking. T90 official, where is the King of the Desert banner? Shouldn't you have that up on screen? You mean the banner that's literally right in the middle of the screen? <laughs> that one? Yeah, it's, it's right there. <laughs> Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Uh, Britons and Mongols. So Vivi will go for Mongols. All right, man. Uh, we have Leary playing Britons. And then we have Vivi playing Mongols. First thing we need to talk about, where are the pigs for Leary? Because Vivi's going to lame. There's one on the front. And, okay, there's two, actually, that could be lamed. That's what you have to do with Mongols. What do you think, Dave? Yeah, he's coming forward, that's for sure. And he's going to find this pig, I think. You say, He said he was going to be a good boy, though. <laughs> he, he did say that. He has not been a good boy. <laughs> well, remember, with the restart, he had tried to lame and then failed. No, go left. Go left. No, no, go left. Vivi. Well... At this point, he needs to decide if he sees this three-tile stone, he should go north. Okay. He knows that that's not one of Leary's stones, so he's got to be somewhere else. He has plenty the, of time. Yeah. If you look at the maps, it's actually looking pretty good for Leary, other than that forward boar. Yeah, I agree. Well, I mean, they both have forward golds. Oh, Vivi can steal two goats, and he can steal the pig. He's going to steal the pig. I know pig. Oh, Leary's there, though. Too slow. Too slow. If Vivi can get this back and take the goats with him, Leary will be way behind. Vivi, however, is housed badly, Dave. So And he's outranging the boar right now. He's going too fast. But oh, the, bird. the boar is still following because of the bird. That's something that I have yet to make a video on and to explain. And the zebras are here, too. So the boar is still follow him if he runs to the zebras. No, I don't think zebras. Oh. I don't think it works with zebras. Yeah, they do, but they have a lower line of sight. If he went into the zebras, it would have worked. Um, But he gets two goats. Yeah, it's still not good enough. He's going to lose his scout now if he continues to fight this. He's bringing a villager oh to fight. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's, where, she's going way out there. Or is she going for the boar? I mean, probably both. this and then go for the boar? Probably both. <laughs> Here she goes! I am the dragon. <laughs> oh my god. No. She's going, man. She's going to wall herself in. Wall herself in, in and lame it. And Vivi needs... Uh, Leary needs to take the pig as quick as possible. Oh! Oh, there wasn't a wall there, man! <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? No! He didn't hit that. You know what? He's still... He's fine, man. He's fine. <laughs> Not anymore. This is a disaster. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> It was not even built. <laughs> She's so dead. Oh, quick, get scared. another villager. Get another villager. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, worth it. No, worth it. <laughs> not worth it all. Look at the vil count. 14 to 12. He probably now. hasn't even found his own get, resources. He had to get loom, that's why. Yeah, so he's lost oh, a villager man. and a scout. He gained a pig from that. He is... He did steal two goats as well, so this isn't going to be very easy for Leary. Uh, let's look at how much food Leary has. He has 40 food left on that pig. He has one goat. Dave, he's not pushing Zebra. I don't know if Leary can easily up. Easily? No. Yeah. Well, Not at all. I mean, he's sending some villagers out to the Zebra now. Why not just push those in? Well, I think he is unaware that the goats are not in the back of his base. He's hoping they're back there. So Vivi obviously wasn't ideal for him, but I think that he might be able to up faster anyway. And that's that's the idea of picking Mongols. So you can steal food, up quickly to feed, will take some advantages there. I do like Britons a whole lot more throughout the game, though. They have cheap TCs in Castle Age. They have extra range on their crossbows in Castle Age. Basically, Castle Age Britain should win this. Laming the zebra. Oh! He's coming forward with another villager. <laughs> So annoying, but this is so smart because now these zebras will rot. Leary is almost forced to drush here, Dave. I don't think he can go feudal age. He needs to drush. My goodness, the dragon. So with Vivi's original plan of walling in the villager and killing the boar, would you rather lose a villager and have the boar as Mongols like he has currently, or would you rather wall that villain and lame the boar? Hmm, good point. Um. Well... 
Honestly, maybe I'd rather lose the villager and gain the boar. Leary can't click up. Oh, that, finally. Okay, got the 500 food. He's on Just his way. Just barely, up. okay. Just barely. He's at the limit for resources. Uh, I guess he'll still try and go man-at-arms. I don't know if he's going to have the food to do that, though, Dave. He does not have enough food income to make a lot of militia and get man-at-arms. Whereas Leary has food for scouts, so he can still do that. He has the zebras on the back. He has enough wood for the stable. He's fine. Yeah, Leary's really struggling here. He's trying to get... He's, like, garrisoning vills to get enough food for another militia. Like, oh, this is... This is ugly for Leary. And those zebra are just rotting away at the front, too. Yeah, I don't see him easily getting three militia and man-at-arms. I mean, if he does, he will not have his eco upgrades, that's for sure. Which is a pretty big deal. You you generally want to have your eco upgrades Here as well. Here comes Vivi oh. with two villagers. Oh! But the militia oh. are there. He could deny the stable. Leary is just passing. Why is he just passing? See you later. Uh, and, oh, now he's coming and back. And Vivi... Uh, Wallet, dude. <laughs> what is happening what, what today? Is what is happening today? Why would you even build this table there, man? Well, Send him more. advantage Leary if he gets man at arms. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Vivi's in trouble. He is in big, 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 big trouble. He needs to just delete this table. Just bail. He's going to sacrifice the villager to get the other villager over here. Got him. All right. Watch out, though. That wall's going to go down to real quick. I am I am losing years of my life watching this right now. <laughs> I am <laughs> losing years of my life. Okay, now he walls up. You know, it was such a simple thing. Leary could have denied the stable earlier. And Vivi, he could have... Oh, he's into the wood line? Oh, oh no! my life is... Oh. Well, Leary has recovered from the obnoxious laming. In a big, big way. Uh, Vivi is trying to make scouts. Dave, this is very similar to game one, though. Very sloppy. Yeah. yeah well, man is at he going to go loop around to those zebra at the back? There's some exposed villagers there. There's the berries as well. The style from Leary is also very similar to game one. The strategy is very similar. And, and Vivi losing a scout now to a spearman? So close. One HP left. Uh, this is bad. Now, remember, in game one, I was thinking, wow, Leary has a huge lead. He has that same lead here. Hopefully for him, he doesn't let it slip. He's even... He could kill another villager on the berries there. Divi needs to realize that's a weak scout for Leary and attack it. There we go. Well played. This is so mom spaghetti right now from both players. <laughs> Uh, definitely. I, I was thinking Vivi should just go forward and tower rush, honestly. Instead of going scouts, the players are so close together. Aggression can work, and I was thinking maybe towers, but now he's building a defensive tower. Uh, the archers don't have fletching, but there are some weak villagers there, and one more villager dies for Leary, or for Vivi, rather. And he gets his tower up, but that will be his only one for now. This is a mess. He will have three Vivi scouts, Dave. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> that's... That's barely even a scout, though. One of them is 1 HP. <laughs> He's going to prove you wrong. Yeah. Leary making skirmishers, or sorry, archers and spearmen. Counter to that would be skirmishers from Vivi. So eventually he needs to build an archer range, just like last game. Vivi going to bait these men-at-arms into the TC? Oh, Leary, come on, man. Mom Spaghetti, indeed. And Dave? Villager down for Leary on the wood line. This is a repeat of game one. Yep. And hopefully Leary doesn't send more units inside the town center. That would be a bad, bad thing. His farms are really awkwardly placed. I can appreciate that. Defensive towers for Vivi. Like, this is where the archers and spearmen get a bit weaker. Now that there's towers... Can't do too much, and again, Vivi just needs an archery range, but oh, you know what? Weak villagers are building the tower. Why send the weak ones? It's, send the it's, other it's one. Vivi. No, he's gonna die. It's Vivi, man. It, it, if you finish that tower, there's no way Leary can do any damage there. Typical Vivi. <laughs> Typical dragon. <laughs> uh, still has three scouts at Leary's base. Leary... Has defensive spears. He does not have them in the right area, so he could lose another. Oh, villager. one HP, one HP scouts coming in big. 
No archery range yet for the dragon, which is the concern. Again, if he had some skirmishers, if he had five skirmishers with fletching, he'd be able to kill the archers, but in this case, Leary just wants to run into the tower fire for him. He wants to commit for this, Dave. You can tell that Vivi's itching to run out there with Vils, but I don't think he well, can afford to do it. He can get that if he loops around from the top side, distracts him on the bottom side while they're down hitting the farms. But because Leary doesn't have fletching yet, right? Yeah, but now he, he will. Fletching incoming. Five scouts for Vivi forward. There's a lot of spearmen for Leary. Oh, boy. Well... Pretty significant eco lead for Leary. Vivi's eco is disastrous, but we saw this in game one, and he finds a way to use the mobility of the scouts to get pickoffs. He just killed an archer. And now he's going forward to try and get the. Why go forward now? <laughs> Up a hill. <laughs> against the other against side. Fletching. <laughs> Loses another villager. Send your scouts back. Do something like distract him, Ch make him chase, and then get the tower down, you know? And Leary is in his wheelhouse now. Microwing archers has killed two villagers. Defending at home. And just like game one, Leary has more food. He has more gold. And he's hoping for the castle age click. So Vivi oh, needs to push. Vivi's losing vills on his farms. Like, that's two oh, villagers that's, down on the farm. That's now too much. three villagers down. It, and he's lost some scouts at the wood line from Leary as well. Uh, dude, I doesn't look good for Vivi now, right? He's, he's lost no. too many vills. He doesn't have military. And here come the skirmishers, though, so he is going to get the tower up. <laughs> but he actually... <laughs> Vivi? Hello? There we go. Vivi? He'll get the tower up. Vivi, hi? Certainly avoidable mistakes, though, right? Yeah, if he had four villagers building that tower instead of three, or if the three weren't weak, then he could have got it down for sure. And he lost another villager next to the stable. This is just sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy stuff. The only way Vivi wins game two is if he goes forward now and starts building towers. He needs to yep. he needs to YOLO this because otherwise Leary will be in Castle Age soon. Leary will have crossbow and, and the game will be over. I mean, if he somehow gets control, like he'd have to control the gold at the front. He'd have to control the wood line at the right. <laughs> he'd have to tower the farms. Like he'd have to do a whole lot right now. Yep. If Vivi saved himself in game one, from a tough situation, I just don't see it in game two, and he's holding on for now because he's trading with skirmishers versus archers. But once Leary hits Castle Age, and I'm I'm sure Vivi knows that Leary's on the way up. I just don't see how yeah. it will happen. The thing with Britons too is if there is potential for Leary to throw if he throws away his archer numbers yep. and his crossbow numbers, because Britons take a while to get going. It's interesting how close they were, and yet Leary. He's comfortable not towering. Like last game as well, he didn't build a defensive tower. When I think a lot of players would have built a defensive tower just to be safe. Sneak stable there from Leary. Just now getting his eco upgrades. It really was difficult for him to get those eco upgrades. And yeah, this pretty much solidifies his lead and his victory in game two. Because once the scouts kill the skirms, he'll be in castle age. He'll have crossbow. He'll have bodkin. And there's just no way Vivi can get to Castle H in this game. He's 150 food. It is not going to be enough for him. I want to say well played Leary to get the victory, but it was so sloppy all around. <laughs> really hope it improves and overall. <laughs> after that start, though, like, it just, it all started when Vivi tried to put that stable there. Yeah. Why put the stable there? Like, I get that you want to wall this gap here, but, like, Put it farther back. Put it on the hill. Well, it was very risky. I guess he didn't have the scouting, so he was assuming that Leary wouldn't have the resources to make man-at-arms, but it's it's risky. I agree, Dave. Build it more defensively. Just build it. I figured he would build it next to his barracks. Yeah. Build it next to your barracks, and you get the stable up. You can get the scouts out faster. There was a lot of avoidable mistakes for Vivi in that game, but the score is one-to-one, -one, guys. We will move on. I don't think I've seen Mongols win a game in this tournament. No, they've been... <laughs> it's funny how they used to be top of the tier list and it's slowly fading. <laughs> yeah. So Leary with a much faster castle time. Vivi wasn't even close to clicking up. Okay, game three. Civilizations. Here are the civilizations. People watching the stream are curious. What do we got here? We have 
Uh, Berbers, Malians, Aztecs, Indians, and Italians remaining for Leary. He is on the left of the draft. And then we have Mayans, Chinese, Vikings, Ethiopians, and Malay left for the Dragon. What? Okay, what would be the most interesting Civ matchup here? Hmm. Um, Malay versus Ethiopian. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I was going to say Malay versus Ethiopians, <laughs> yes, but Vivi <laughs> has both of them. Shut up. <laughs> um... Aztecs versus Chinese would be really good, actually. Okay. I could see that being interesting because Chinese have the options to counter the Eagles, but then Aztecs also have the options to counter uh, like like the Knights and the Archers that Chinese have. So I don't know. Hard to say. Chinese versus any civilization can be interesting because Chinese is so solid all around. Atha, there's no way that I can get the X onto my overlay as far as I know. Like normally, if I'm showing you, like, as a, if I'm just showing a screen capture, it works because I'm clicking it myself, but I haven't figured out how to implement that today. But it's fine, I can tell you in between games. So, Vivi loses with probably his worst Civ in the draft. So, I don't think he'll be too disappointed there. Obviously, getting the, ga ga the win in game one was impressive. It was just, I don't know. As soon as you place your... You, the thing with Mongols, guys, is your entire advantage is getting up faster. Yeah. And then as soon as you place your production building, the one building that you need to capitalize on that advantage, far forward like that without walling your villagers, you deserve to lose that game. Also, the lame attempt was pretty weak. He, he brought the pig with him for 20, 30 tiles, but then the pig ran back. And it was not ideal for him. And it was sloppy too. He attempt, got housed as well. The lame attempt was just dumb. Like you just you lost your scout <laughs> and you run right past his scout, <laughs> and then by some odds you you get there without him taking the boar first, and then you fail to wall your villager. The villager Vivi running thinks. forward though was a was a good decision, but again, no other player but Vivi would do that. Hashtag yeah. just fat dragon things. Vivi things. I personally don't think that they will go for Aztecs or Mayans yet. I think they'll save Aztecs or Mayans. Those are the strongest civilizations, or arguably the strongest civilizations for both players' draft. You know, now that you've said that, there it's going to be a Mesomir. Yep, true. Curse the commentator. I think it's going to be... What did I say last time? I said Malay versus... I did say Malay versus Britons. I think you did. You got Britons, right? I said Mongols, yeah. so... We're going Malay, or no, I said Malay versus Aztec. I'm doing it again. Malay versus I'll Aztec. Right. One of these days. Uh, <laughs> one of these days. Uh, let's see. I'm going to make a guess here as well. I say Leary goes for, hmm. Well, I'm going with Berbers again. I think he goes Berbers. And I think we have Chinese for Vivi. Why ban Byzantines? Wow, this guy really likes Byzantines. People love Byzantines, and people have been really annoyed by the fact that players are globally banning Byz. Maybe we'll have to ask the players after the tournament. Indians and Vikings. Oh, this is so good for the dragon. So, one thing to point out here is Leary is going with one of his weaker civilizations, much like Vivi did in the last game. Uh, we saw Indians and Vikings. It was actually... Yo versus Lix, was it, Dave? Mm -hmm. I think we casted that one together. And Vikings, they normally gain a good lead if they can get their archers rolling. And especially if they get a boom into Berserks, there's not much Indians can do. Once once they get Berserks, Indians have to have a really a much stronger eco than Vikings at that point. Which is tough. They have to go into hand cannons and like castles and defensive buildings and yeah. Yep. Well, Leary not wasting any time starting this off by pushing in zebras. I will look at his map. His map is, is ugh, I mean, it's all right. <laughs> it, it's all right. I don't like all the hills. The hills can make it very complicated if he's up against archers, and I'm sure he will be. But his main gold can be walled in. He can protect that by building on the hill. His secondary gold is okay on the back. Third gold, not ideal, but it's not the worst either. The stones on the back, berries on the back, his pushable zebra. It's it's all right. Not a bad map. Yeah, yeah. He's got he's got woodline options. If he goes to the back area there, it's kind of far from his TC, but 
Um, still decent. Vivi's got a Vivi's got a pretty nice wood setup in the back, but his golds are concerning. I'd say it's pretty similar for both players. They both have pushable zebra. In fact, they both both uh, pushed one zebra already. The golds can be concerning depending on where they build, but I think that Vivi will probably build in front of this. If he gets walls way, up, though. it's an, an insane map, but it's a long way, as you said. It's very complicated to wall. Like, if you wall at the front near that gold, then that means that you have to wall to the north in that gap. Yeah, I agree. And then you have to wall to the edge of the map. So, I've like, Vivi is not afraid of doing that, of using four villagers in Dark Age to wall. But it uh, <laughs> takes up a lot of idle time. Well, I think what he'll need to do is go man-at-arms in this matchup. It's what you normally see from players is man-at-arms as Vikings, man-at-arms into archers. Leary, he will take advantage of the cheaper Indian Vills, and he will try and get started with the stable and go scouts. So what will happen is, if Vivi's trying to wall, so he's going to come forward with his units, Leary will probably try and avoid those units, and he could send his scouts out and pick off the villagers who are walling. So unfortunately, I don't think Vivi will have the luxury of walling up his base, Unless he's able to really put the pressure on. And Dave, one way to put the pressure on someone going scouts is go man-at-arms and mix in a few villagers. We could easily see that. Or send one villager around the side of the map <laughs> and tower the wood line. <laughs> yep, we've seen that as well. In fact, a Dave, Dave predicted that Vivi would do that in game one, and it was Leary who did it. He dragons the, the dragon. the <laughs> What? Vivi sees the main gold now from Leary, and he sees that house, so he knows the TC is somewhere around there. You just know and... the guy is licking his lips when he sees a gold on the hill on the front. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's probably getting so excited about it. But he'll find what he needs, but most players, or both players, will have all of their resources. I think Vivi appreciates wood lines that are farther away from the TC more than he does main golds. Because usually when he sends that one vill to tower, it's always a wood line. You're right. Well, wood and berries, the most important resources to deny in early game. Gold gets more important as the game goes on. The game between... I think I'm getting players confused now. Who did Vivi play in the previous set? It was Yingwa. Yingwa. Mm -hmm. the, the Slavs v. Slavs game was insane from Vivi, where he was denying wood with those towers. My goodness. Was that the last game? That was the last game, yep. Oh, that was disgusting, man. I <laughs> I felt so bad for Ying why <laughs> he tried so hard. <laughs> if anyone hasn't watched that, like, go back. You know that Vivi won the set by now, but go back and watch that final game. That, that game was incredible. Now, we talked about the importance of scouting resources. Here we have Vivi scouting the barracks from Leary. He also scouted that there was a villager on the gold. So Vivi's thinking, hmm, this isn't scouts. This is something else. And Leary's known for this build order. Make a few militia, and then you immediately advance the feudalage. This is not easy to pull off. And I think only Leary and Viper do it relatively consistently. And look at that, man. That's, that's impressive. He creates the militia before clicking up. So we'll get them right before Vivi will get his. And the idea here is to trade versus those militia, and Leary is waiting. So Leary has no intention of getting man-at-arms, but what he wants to do... Maybe he's going forward. Yeah, what he wants to do... Is he going to see him? Is kill the militia, but... Oh, he doesn't see the Vils! He didn't see the Vils? Oh no, is he going to see it with the militia here? Just passing? Shh. See ya! Yeah! <laughs> hey, he sees, he it. sees it! And the lion, lion's coming into play here, but there's... Three Militia from Vivi, and they're going to get an HP boost as soon as they get up to Feudal Age. So he's going to have the advantage here. He's going to have the Vils and the Scout as well. Yeah. And one of those is really low HP for Leary. These men at arms are not going to be very strong for Leary. And fortunately for him, he will be in Feudal Age, so he'll be able to defend from this. And remember, Leary's Scout lot wasn't in the main fight. Uh, it will be on full HP, so he can use that as well. But men at arms on the way for Vivi. Three full HP men at arms. And he wants to tower Dave, and he's going right to the wood line. Yep. And he really, like, Leary didn't really stall him at all with those militia. And he's not, is he even going to upgrade to Man at Arms? No, because he only has two of them. Forced to drop an archery range. 
So he'll go into archers Leary. and skirms. Leary does have more economy now because his villagers have been working. And you know what? He has walled up nicely. He's just going to reposition. Yeah, but there's a hole. There's a hole on the, against the edge of the map if, Leary, if Vivi wants to go in. Yeah, I see there's a hole there. I wonder if that will be a factor. Because normally it'd be a bit risky to run in there. And it could be seen as a waste of time. But Vivi gets his first tower up, Dave. That's one of potentially many towers to go up. Where does he tower next? Does he tower the stone? Or does he loop around? His men at arms have a limited time window where they can be successful. They won't be successful once Leary gets a few archers out. He sees the gold now. Okay. Coming forward. <laughs> What what would Age Vampires be without Vivi building right on towers? That little, right on that one tile in front of the gold. It's perfect. Oh, uh, right there! Put it on the hill, man! <laughs> That's <pro> It's perfect! <laughs> it was meant to be! <laughs> it makes me laugh how much that triggers you. <laughs> okay, now this is interesting. He starts building his tower. Leary's now building his one and only tower defensively. Vivi just packs up and he's going to reposition and go to the berries. So he's just changing targets with his tower. Now, I don't love this tower, but if he's able to get it up, it can be complicated for Leary. Oh, and Leary's going to rush it down. Leary's got it. He's got to invest. He's got to invest in this. It's a good decision, I think. And he, yeah. he might lose a villager, but if he stops the tower from going up, he could kill three villagers I don't villagers know if he will, Vivi. though. He's going to have to batter the tower down once it goes up. Oh, he might with the archers there. Vivi needs yeah, to run. Yeah, no fletching, but still. Vivi needs to run. There's No, he's the dragon. Oh, he's sending another villain. <laughs> this guy's here to save the day. <laughs> 97, 99. He gets it up, but he loses every villager but one. It's okay. You could damage that archer a little bit. Oh, he kills the archer. Okay, not sure it was worth it. And the tower goes down so quickly. Well, so here's the crazy thing about this. Vivi, meanwhile, has had an untouched eco back at home. So, yes, he's down one villager, and it could be two if he loses this guy. But his eco might have been more efficient. He also has wheelbarrow. So that's the crazy thing about when Vivi goes forward. He's able to boom behind it. I was actually talking to Daniel, who's a pro player, about this uh, this morning. But wow, well played Vivi. Or not, not well played Vivi. Well played Leary to pick off a villager on the berries there. Yep. That was not... Uh... I, I mean, if you're Vikings and you can keep your opponent in his base in Feudal Age and just capitalize on the, the wheelbarrow advantage, yep. maybe it might be worth it, but I don't know. What do you, Losing four villagers is big. Well, in the time it takes to research wheel, uh, you cannot create three villagers. So, vill count will be pretty even once Leary gets wheel. What do you think about Leary making the stable now, Dave? This is an interesting decision. I, I like this move. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna help him out a bit because he can't really do anything against the towers right now. Yeah. With Archer Skirmisher. The sable will allow him to like run in past the TC maybe into that wood line. But I I just don't know what's what's Vivi gonna do in terms of units. Is he just gonna go tower defense into Castle Age? Like I think he'll have to make something in Feudal Age, but it will be tower defense for now, and he's taking advantage of the Vikings eco. So he's walling up the north side. He's towering his wood line, walling in towards his TC. Leary will run in there and, and lose his scout in the process. It's a waste. And he also sees the towers going up, but he can't stop that with just two archers and two skirms with no fletching. Wow. And Vivi's walling up and making a market, so I don't, I don't know if he's making units or not. I guess he could just buy food, uh, sell some stone even. He doesn't really need the stone now. See, watch, guys. Wheel is about to complete for Leary, and when it's completed, he'll only be ahead by... Actually, he won't be ahead by any villagers. Maybe like half a vill. And he's down a wood line, which is pretty annoying, though I don't think that's a huge deal. He can always batter that down. It's an awkward spot to go batter down, though. you got to get the walls first. Yep. Well, Leary did not create any scouts. When he created the stable, I figured he would create more scouts. He didn't. He was just building that early. And he's going to wall up, and if he walls to the edge of the map in the south, he will secure that gold. Obviously has his wow. main gold on the hill, and he's on his way to Castle Age. That's impressive. Yeah, and Vivi, Vivi's up, but he had to really, like, pound that market to get up there. 
Ooh, and now, now Vivi's thinking, okay, I'm going to make some knights in the next stage. Run right into Leary's base. But Leary is Indians, so he can make the camels. This is not ideal for the dragon. If Vivi mixes in some monks, though, yeah. knights and monks will beat camels. He could also just boom. Because, remember, the second he gets a castle, this gets very complicated for Indians. If Vikings get three TCs, pumping out villagers and a castle to create berserks, there's not much Indians can do, as we said, once berserks are massed. Yeah, Vivi's going... Uh, I think he's going to go Pikeman Knight. Oh, he's making scouts. Okay. okay. All right, Vivi. Well, I see you. If he has skill barding, he can fight now, but <laughs> I really don't like the scouts at all. Like, you don't have that much food to begin with, bud, but okay. Oh, he, he doesn't actually, even have a blacksmith, so... <laughs> yeah, he's just now building the blacksmith. This is good for Leary. Leary will get crossbow... Larry will get Bodkin, and he'll mix in a few camels. Vivi realizes this is trouble now, so he has to build some houses behind to delay as he's building a tower. And Leary in full control of this game, Dave. You know, if, Vivi, if Vivi's going sc scouts or knights or whatever, there is still that one tile hole in the back of Leary's base. Oh, yeah, we have to think about that. And he'll <laughs> find it, man. But... You know, in, in Leary's position, if you see your opponent builds another tower defensively, you realize he'll be that further away from TCs. But Vivi does build a TC on the gold. Monastery. Okay. He'll just defend. Yep. And you got to consider that as soon as he hits Castle Age, he gets another eco boost because the handcart comes in, which is huge. Yep. And also, Leary did not have the stone to build his second TC. So Vivi will gain an eco lead, a slight eco lead, but definitely an eco lead. Camels are out now from Leary. Plus one on those. Leary's so good when he has map control, man. His micro is so good. He sees the knight immediately, reacts to that, sending his crossbows back in, where Vivi's trying to build a town center on the wood line, uh, which he can get up. He just might lose Maybe a villager. He's, he's taken the fight with Spearman. Low HP on that one camel. Crossbows are forced to go back for the moment, but he's being so annoying to those vills. Oh, the oh, TC geez. can be ranged. Another vill goes down. So, Vivi has the monk stave to convert camels. However, the crossbows are there to snipe the monks, and Leary is so quick. Okay, so Leary is fully walled. I think the only way into his base is that one tile gap at the back. Oh, Vivi's going to lose more vills to the crossbows. <laughs> Do you think he'll find it? <laughs> if he just clicks in, he might. <laughs> Leary's well, going to be like, oh, he's gone now. <laughs> no, he's here. <laughs> well, the TC will be up for Leary in the back, I guess. Is it worth it to YOLO that TC for Vivi? Like, how many villagers has he lost there? It's fine. He's ahead in Vils. He is one Jeez. more Vil, and he is handcart. No, Vivi, keep going with that <laughs> army. Don't attack the wall. Keep going, man. Just send one unit and click. See yes. if there's a hole. You know he's going to find it at some point. He has to. It's funny. Every time there's like a hole like this against the edge of the map, players never find it. There was actually a team game in which only half the one side was walled, but Leary saw the wall... He assumed it would have been full walled, and so he just started attacking it. They never expect their opponent to make mistakes. Leary repositions now. He's going to where the main gold is. And Vivi's expecting this. He's building an outpost. And she, she is gonna survive. Live. She's, she's living. Monks and Maganels and TCs for Vivi. He's just trying to boom his way out of this. It's, it's not gonna be easy. But he does have a slight vill lead at the moment. Yeah, and he's putting like he's putting enough pressure on Leary's base right now that Leary has to keep some army back. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah, it's just being annoying. Oh, is he gonna find the hole? Not that it'll matter, but I think oh, he, he might, might find he the might, hole. He might. That might come oh. in handy later. Though. He does. He <laughs> sees it. He's gonna be like, I'm such an idiot. Why didn't I go over here before? <laughs> now now don't, hopefully don't he doesn't your hand though. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully he doesn't run into the TC. Come on, Spearman. Leary's thinking, how did that get in here? But dude, look at Leary's pressure on the, the front. Yeah, he's going to think that was in the corner from like ages ago. And Vivi, Vivi's going to get so much scouting in Leary's face. That is hilarious. 
Well, I love what Leary's doing. Vivi's giving him full map control, so Leary, he's going to take advantage of that with a forward siege workshop. Did you see in the middle of the map there, Vivi tried to come forward with two villagers. They were being attacked by lions. They got delayed, and then uh, Leary sniped them. I did not so see that. So he was that. trying to come forward to do something, like tower more areas or something like that. Leary commits to kill the Magano. Can he kill monks in the process? He loses two camels, and he's running into TC and tower fire. I don't think that's a good fight for Leary. I don't think it's good at all. No, this is the danger with Indians when you go full camel. If the other person has monks... And and Vivi will have more monks as well. Vivi's just buying time. Oh, but Vivi's building a town center. And Deliri will deny that, or delay it anyway. Yo, this spearman, though, has chased this villager out. She was full HP. Where's the spearman? She's dying, man. It, at the farms, Leary. She was full <laughs> HP. He's dying, dude. Yo, he's got her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All because of the hole, baby. All because of the hole. And these two female villagers are going to run forward to that tower, I bet. Vivi's somehow holding. Oh, Leary sees the Magano. Shoot. Good split. It's incredible how Vivi's not dead yet. Two he... more villagers trying to come forward and they just died. Yeah, they're, no, they're running from the TC. Yeah, they're, they're, they had nowhere else to go, really. Let me let me check the resources they're banking. Leary's banking more food. And now archer ranges for Vivi, but he's hiding them. So he wants to make some crossbows, I guess, and he will yeah, Fat Dragon loses his Magnell. Fat Dragon will lose his Scorpion. Leary is on top of it, man. Leary's got much better map control right now. Yep. I mean, this is a game that Leary should win. With the amount of map control he has, the position he's in, this is a game that Leary should polish off and win, but Vivi's hanging in there, and Vivi's getting guard tower, crossbow, padded archer armor. I think what Vivi wants is map control before Leary goes to the Imperial Age. Remember what we said. Vikings, if they have map control over Indians, it's very difficult for Indians because they need a lot of time. Whereas Indians, if they're going to win this matchup, they need to be in Leary's current position. Well, I don't know if this position, like, it's good for Leary, but it's not great. Uh, I think it comes down to if he can use the Maganels. He has four inside that siege workshop. Oh, Vivi's using that forward army again. Another villager dies. He's made so much use of these forward stupid army. units. <laughs> yeah. You just call it a scout and a spearman and army. <laughs> hey, I mean, it did, did more than some of his other armies, so... And uh, he is cleaning up a few crossbows from Leary. He's going out for that TC again, too. There's two camels there he doesn't see. He's going he's gonna to get it this time. Uh, I think. Yeah, he's going to get it. I There's think he will. Spearmen. He's getting pikeman upgrade, too. So. so he'll go pikeman crossbow. I think with pikeman crossbow, there's not too much that Leary can do. But Leary will probably click Imp soon. That's a lot of mangonels from Leary, though. Oh, Good, good guard tower upgrade from Vivi. Really helping him out here. A watchtower would have gone down by oh. now. Dave. Yo, that's potential to be the greatest shot of all time. Vivi, get in there, my son. The camels run in, and the camels get in there to kill the Maganel. What a play from Leary. He recognized he was at the bottom of a hill. He l he could have lost all five of his Maganels. Just holding that map control. The crossbows from Vivi. They're going forward. And Leary doesn't see that. Le oh, that's the most disgusting farm I've ever seen near that hole. <laughs> but Leary did, still does not see the hole, and the crossbows could sneak in there. Uh, but meanwhile, Vivi needs to defend at home. He already lost one tower to this. He sends his Magno out. He fires. He just kills one. Uh, he kills two. A decent. This is such a difficult position for Leary to push into. Like, and Vivi has access to that secondary gold now, so denying him off that main gold isn't even really doing too much. And Vivi is killing Leary's villagers. The Fat Dragon has the bill lead, Dave. And he's making a castle. Where is it going? Okay, it's going on that hill. That's a great spot, actually. And Vi and Leary's pulled away his mangonels there, so he can't deny it anymore. So the Fat Dragon will secure both of his golds on the hill. The other gold is exposed next to the TC. Can he garrison in time? He does. He loops around his mangonel there to defend. And he's, he's losing his crossbows now at uh, Leary's base. What a game this is. This is the best is game of the set game. for sure. Yeah, so far anyway. Yeah. Is he gonna garrison those in the guard tower? Yeah, save those, save a few of those crossbows? No, I guess not. He can't get Just in. Just let him die. 
Yeah, it's probably better to let him die than to delete that hole. Uh, next to zero resources in the bank for Vivi. And it's one Mackinel versus four. Uh, he zero gets... Mackinel? Oh! Well... Oh my goodness, how is this Mackinel still alive? Hero! <laughs> he did enough there! He did enough! Forward University from Leary, he's going to scare Vivi. Another Mangano loss here, though. Man, I mean, how? It, it was so good of Vivi to get that TC up on the secondary gold because Leary had to switch focus. Once he denied the main gold, he realized Vivi was taking gold somewhere else. Yep. And then that gave Vivi time to get a castle down and secure his main gold again. Leary needs Very to go nice. imp now, I think, because he can't push the castle. I think he needs to go imp, and he needs to push this side he's currently trying to in castle. Well, he has the res. He's just trying to get the building. Oh okay. my god! Leary just lost half of his camels to the Magadils! That was sick. How is Vivi defending here, Dave? It's been incredible. Another Magadil shot! He's holding on! And another one, too. Oh my goodness. It's, it's the Viking eco, man! Yeah. It's insane. He can afford to lose the Vils. And now, what is the plan for Leary in the next stage? Continuing with crossbows? Not ideal. Because Vikings are... They get our blessed with full upgrades. Indians do not. And then, of course... Well, I really don't know what Indians do here. They can't go camels against the pikemen either. They, they could maybe still do that, but it's not cost efficient. Are you paused right now? I am paused, yeah. Okay, good. I was um, <laughs> well, it gives us some time to talk about the current position. The eco for Vivi is a bit imbalanced, but as you said, I think if he stops creating vills for just a few minutes, he imps as well. Uh, he should go towards probably yes. Elite Skirm or Arbalest mixed in with Pikeman and Berserk. I don't see what Leary really does in early imp, maybe he drops a castle and then tries some sort of push. Yeah, I think drops a castle, tries to tread down a Vivi's castle. Could also make for... use of bombard cannons, but again, that takes some time. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. He's he's getting light cav and bloodlines right now, so that's amazing. He didn't have bloodlines the entire castle age. Yeah, that makes so a lot of sense. So he maybe wants to raid? Yeah, he could do that. He could use his mobility raid from the sides. At this point, Leary has pretty much full map control. So he's able to take advantage of the extra golds and the relics. He just hasn't done that yet. Okay, he's making a castle. Is it super defensive? Where is it? Oh, he's sending them out through the hole. And making <laughs> the castle uh, near that guard tower from Leary, or from Vivi. More of a defensive choice, and he sends his camels in to kill the four Magadels. Make that five Magadels from Vivi. And that was well done from Leary. He kills all the Magadels. He is losing most of his camels, though. I don't like that. I don't know. I guess what it... are the Mangonels going to do to you? Are you not going Arbalest because you're Indians? Yeah, I was just going to say. I guess it He's depends if you feel like that's a threat. Though. Maybe he will go crossbows to deal with like the Pikes potential. He doesn't get Arb, but I think sticking with crossbow for now is maybe his best thing. He still gets Bracer and Chemistry. Vivi is halfway to the Imperial Age himself, and he's going to get Arbalest. Uh, but he needs to back away from this goal for the time being. Leary will go Hussar and immediately to raid Dave. This could work for Leary. He's fighting with worse options now. But if he's able to raid before Vivi can get his uh, massive units, it can be interesting. And nice micro there with the crossbows. Siege workshops from Leary. He might send Siege forward. There's not a lot of places he can raid with the Hussars, though. No, and I like how Vivi sent villagers to the north to make another TC, secure some more wood. It's yeah. really nice. Well, Vivi just lost a lot of his crossbows. He needs to be patient. He needs to send his new crossbows, not into harm's way, but next to his TC. Wait for the upgrades. He's obviously under pressure. He's building a guard tower on the front now. He's very scared of all of this. It's got another Mangonel out, Leary. You gotta be careful, man. Oh! Leary, you gotta be careful. It's a good shot. It's a good shot. Vivi will hit the Imperial Age as we speak. He's at 145 population. It is 153 for Leary. This is a very close game, Dave. 
Yeah, Vivi's eco looking a bit messy too. Like his gold is all clustered up. Try and expand, but so much pressure from Leary. He needs Bracer and Chemistry. Bracer's on the way. The thing is, with Vikings, you can have a messy eco, and it's still very, very strong. I think Leary yeah, here needs comes pressure. The first, here comes the first bomber cannon from Leary. Good I think move. this is a good choice from Leary to go Hussar and uh, continue with the crossbows into skirmishers and bombard cannons. What he needs to take advantage of is how much map control he has. He cannot allow Vivi to get control in the north. Leary just hasn't scouted that yet. If you were to send Hussars up there, just a few of them, he could see there is a TC. He's making an outpost. He's making an outpost now. And he's also going to raid in the south as well. And oh, he's a, a big group of Hussars there. This is how Leary can win the game. Not with stronger yep. options, but with stronger play and more mobility. He's doing and it. Vivi is making another castle, his second castle, the north side of his base, but he's got really nothing to deal with the Hussars at the moment. Mm -mm. No, and he can't just rely on the lead skirm because of the Hussars. So he needs lead skirm or arbalest. But he needs, he needs a big ball of both, actually, not or. He needs both of them. Leary's just nonstop pressure. Vivi's making forward archery ranges on the left side near Leary's base as well. That could be annoying, but I, I think you need those at home, right? Yeah. You definitely need them at home. You can see what he's trying to do. He's trying the to do a little bit of everything. From Leary to counter this. <laughs> okay. He needed Here something. <laughs> That's the first elephant archer of the tournament. Let's go. Dave, I don't think Vivi can bring this back. He just doesn't have the eco for this. He's getting raided on all sides. Wow. It was such a good, it's such a good unit comp chosen by Leary. Most Indians uh, players would have been going camel at the moment. The amount of pressure he put in Castle Age, the amount of investment in Castle Age is why he won this game. He got full upgrades with the exception of Bloodlines. He got full upgrades on his camels in Castle Age. He made four, five, six Machinels on the front. And he was able to get so much control over the game that he could win this in Imp with worse options. That is an impressive victory because Vikings normally have the edge. Vikings are normally the better Civ in this matchup. Leary gets the victory and he goes up 2-1 to one in the series. Well played, man. I'm really sad that hole didn't come into play more. <laughs> that's your that's your closing thoughts on the game. Well, yeah. think about it. A spearman killed a villager. How often do you see that? It was still From special. Full HP under the TC. Yeah, it was still yeah. special. It was special. Vivi just didn't have much control of that game. He went forward, and he got destroyed. And while I'm surprised he was able to make it to Imp, Leary just outplayed him. There's the eco difference, guys. And we are going to move on to game number four next. So the score has been updated. Started off the day with Vivi getting the victory. Then Leary responded. Leary gets another victory. So two wins in a row now. I think that Vivi will go with one of his stronger civilizations next. He has what available? So he has Mayans, Chinese, Ethiopians, and Malay. Those are some strong civilizations. Those have been some really strong civs, but I, I like Mayans, man. Chinese is so solid against what Leary has. There's no way Leary 4 ones this. I, I don't see it happening. The way Vivi's been playing, the civilizations he has left, I think we could see our 4-3 prediction today. Yeah, and both of them have been getting better with each game. So It was super rusty in game one and game two, that's for sure. Yeah. That game was better. That game was way better. Yep. I think so as well. I think Vivi was a bit sloppy, but it was ultimately just good defense from Leary. He didn't overreact to the first tower. I think he realized that he could just defend his gold and his wood on the other side. And then once Vivi looped around, it was too late at that point. Okay, so I haven't heard anything from the players. Uh, they might be taking a short break. In the meantime, I have a long list of people who have subbed and resubbed to the stream, so I'm just going to go through this. Uh, Kevkov, thank you very much for the five months, man. We have, hey, up, ling, viel, him, berin. I assume that's a different language. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is, but thank you for the prime sub. Super Panda, thank you for two. We had Narco, a God King Medra, Negi, Dead Poet, all coming in with new prime subs. Thank you guys 
Uh, a stove, thank you for two months. Yeah, no Tootins, man. I'm surprised, actually. I think Tootins could have worked well here. Roletti, thank you for the 10 months, man. Thank you, Silver Lateralis. Welcome back. Your dumb mom just subbed. Well, Dave, your mom, she's on the stream again. I think Dave is taking his break, which is convenient because I just made fun of his mom. I'll have to save that. But thank you, your dumb mom, for the sub. <laughs> T90 official, please explain why Viper took a break for one month. I can't explain that. I'm not Viper, man. But it's fine. As, as long as players can... Uh, it's important that players are motivated to play, right? You don't want them playing if they're not motivated. So if you need to take a break, you can take a break. That's cool with me. T90, what's the difference between zebras, camels, ostriches regarding food amount? Uh, it's the exact same food-wise. I think zebras are a bit easier to push in, though. Okay. So here's a question I don't ask often. How many people are new to the stream today? If you're new to the stream today, say something in the chat. Uh... I think yesterday the channel had 300 followers, so that is probably 300 people who are new to the stream. And today there's probably many people who are new as well. I definitely see some new faces. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, we just went below 3,000 in the break, but to have 3,000 people here live is crazy. Now, if you're genuinely new, everyone tends to say they're new on the stream. So there's not quite that many new people here, but... Nice to see you guys. Did you seriously just ask if people were new again? I also made fun of your mom, but you weren't here, so. Yeah, well, she makes fun of you more, so. <laughs> uh, guys, Twitch name is Your Dumb Mom. I said, uh, Your Dumb Mom, thank you for subbing. And then I said, Dave, your mom's here again. <laughs> but the joke doesn't, the joke just doesn't land now. You weren't there. It's dumb. Delivery ruined. That's my excuse. That's my excuse that Dave wasn't here. Uh, Jaguar, thank you very much. He said, I'm new here today, and he has subbed for 20 months in a row on Tier 3. Uh, Jaguar, you are one of, I believe, 20 people out there who sub on Tier 3 and have for a long time. Thank you very much, man. That's crazy. Look at this guy. Dave couldn't be more of a stereotypical nice or polite Canadian. You don't know me. <laughs> did, did a guy say that in the Twitch chat? Oh, man. Yeah. You are so wrong. <laughs> He's new. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely new. <laughs> Infobolt, thank you for gifting five subs to the community, man. Yeah, don't worry about it, RTS, Pedro. If you're not able to sub to the stream, please don't stress about it. Trust me, it's fine. Only do so if you're in a position to. T90, this is my first live stream, and I am enjoying it. Also, thanks once again for the Amazon gift card from your 24-hour stream. You're welcome. I know it's not your first live stream, but you're welcome, Robrisk. All right. Uh, the players have at least opened up the game. Since there's no spectator, we don't know exactly when it's going to launch, so it'll surprise us here, but it shouldn't be too far away. Hackray, nice. Um, you know what? Twitch just recently implemented something that could affect the amount of resub alerts. So in the past, let's say you subbed to my stream for six months and then you were to unsub for two or three and then come back. When you would come back, you would start over at your one month badge and your one month streak. Twitch just recently changed the system. So if, if you sub for six months and you're gone for whatever period of time, when you return, you'll pick off where you left off, which is really cool. A lot of people lost their streaks. A lot of people should be at two years, but they, they missed a month or two. So that might affect some people's uh, resub notifications today. Dave, here we are. Malians and Chinese. What a Civ matchup. This is an exciting one. We have Leary in the blue. He's playing as the Malians. He's up two to one in this semifinal. And then we have Fat Dragon or Vivi in the red. And he is playing as the Chinese. What do you think of the Civs? Both pretty flexible. Very. But I think I think Malians have the advantage in like the Feudal Age. And then maybe the Castle Age. And then once you get up to Imperial, Chinese have, I think, more options than Malians do. Yeah, Malians have this interesting... Uh, transition where they can go for long swordsmen into champions against any strong archer sieve but here chinese have options to counter champions they have their own champions they have the scorpions 
they have the Cavaliers. So it it won't really be available for Lyria, at least depending on how the game plays out. I agree. Probably two of the most flexible civilizations in the game right now, and they're against each other. And Vivi with Chinese, what you got to look for is a good start because they get the goats right away under the TC. They start with three more villagers, oh. um, but they don't have enough food to pr produce villagers. And Vivi's actually gotten a really nice start here with Chinese. So Yep. Producing villagers nonstop, that's the key. And the risk with Chinese in the past was you wouldn't have a goat or a sheep underneath your TC. In fact, that's still standard in the game. But in this tournament, since you get one goat at the start, uh, it made Chinese an instant favorite in most games. So he should yeah, have two more villagers when he's on his way to feudal. Like, historically, people have hated playing as the Chinese just because of that time at the beginning of the game where you might not be able to find your sheep or your goats or whatever other food source. Yep. Don't... Oh my god, he almost... I thought those that villager, if it didn't have loom, it would have died. <laughs> <laughs> that boy reattacked it. <laughs> Dude, don't worry, I, I thought the same thing. So he's pushing in his zebra. Uh, he could go scouts, but again, he's flexible, so he could go drush. He could do a lot of different things as Chinese. Then you have Leary, and Leary could do the same. Malian Man at Arms have that free Pierce armor starting in Feudal Age, so it's actually quite good to open with, but it's not quite as good for your economy. So he could think about going scouts. Uh, let's say they both go scouts, and then they use that stable in Castle Age. They can both get full upgrades on their knights and their camels in Castle Age. Uh, I guess the one thing is the transition... From crossbows and castle to imp can be more awkward for Malians because Malians do not get full upgrades on their archer units, whereas Chinese do. Uh, but again, it, it really depends, as always. Uh, maps seem pretty good, Dave. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, they both have multiple wood lines they can go to. Um, Vivi's gold is a bit suspect, but I guess it's on the, the far side of his base, away from Leary. So that makes it a bit better. He actually did with that house villager he sent out there. He collected 10 gold with her and sent her back to the TC. Oh, and... Oh, oh that's hilarious. <laughs> the poor kid. He is down center fire, killed the goat. He I think he did that on purpose, man. You think Leary did that on purpose? Yeah. No, I think Vivi did that on purpose to kill the goat before it went back to he, the, there's dave come on now you're looking into it too much what is this reddit what, come on you can't a goat? listen you targeting can't target a goat, a goat. But it's running yeah you can with your tc he attacked the scout i know but he attacked the goat once it was getting away you think he thought it through in that moment and said okay if i shoot the enemy scout Yo, it'll hit the goat if, as well dude if i know goat you know goat. <laughs> <laughs> well either way uh i guess it is uh, fortunate for Leary that Vivi lost a goat, uh, but very unfortunate that he will lose his scout if he doesn't get back to his base. So I would prefer to be in Vivi's position. He pushed his zebras. He's fine. <laughs> and I, I, this looks like a scout build for Vivi. And Leary is... Well, he built his barracks already. He hasn't gone out to gold, though. But... I guess he's going scouts. He just built his barracks really early. And his scout will be fine. Leary had that goat right now. Woo, his economy would be bumping. <laughs> Vivi will see the barracks. Now, this might confuse Vivi. This might really confuse Vivi. Like, hold on a second. There's a barracks there, but there's no militia being created. What is this? Was someone in the Twitch chat telling me that he just checked Vivi's stream and Vivi, Vivi casually lit a cigarette while playing? That sounds like him. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like him, man. It must be a Chinese thing, too, because if I remember, Tim did the same thing against Viper years ago. Yeah, look, Viper looked back at the VOD, and, and Tim didn't even have a mill hotkey, and Tim was was uh, <laughs> smoking a cigarette. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite Viper quotes of all time, actually, is how he said that, you know, back in the day, he and Tim had a huge rivalry, and, and Tim was beating him. And then Viper checked Tim's stream one time, and Tim didn't even have hotkeys for some things. And Viper said that tilted him more than anything. So, Leary is almost <coughs> in Feudal Age. Is he going to go for a stable here? He has to, right? Yep. Yep. And uh, Vivi's going to hit Feudal Age with a four... Yeah, it's probably going to be three villager advantage once he gets there. So, really good start from the Chinese. It's a bit slow. Maybe if he wouldn't have shot his own goat, he would have been fine. 
Just, I think we should stop talking about the just goat. Just stop talking about the goat. Sounds fine to me. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. You know, he can wall to the north. However, he has not scouted the wood line is there. So the, the walls that Vivi's building a bit more passive. Leary gets a head start with the scout production. So I think he'll be happy with that. He's obviously down the vills. But Leary will have military control. And Leary has... Has better walls, in my opinion, Dave. He can easily secure his gold if he continues to house wall there. Is Vivi going to pick off this villager at the front of Leary's base? Oh, he's just going to be super annoying with that scout. That is annoying. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yep, and then he'll... I think Vivi, Vivi went up later because he was planning on playing defensively here. And yeah, he's going to wall to the gold, wall back to the wood line, and just keep his units at home for now. Yeah, you have to. You don't want to run out now. Your opponent hit feudal faster. And Leary recognizing this is actually sending some spears forward. This is a good strategy. If Vivi's not paying attention, he could be caught off and he could lose all of his scout numbers to this. He needs to respond with his own spearmen. If I was Leary, I think a good play from him would be coming forward with one, one villager to drop a tower there. And already the forward spear is paying off. See, this is the thing. If your scouts are not on no attack stance, they're not on stand ground, they will automatically run out to attack enemy units. And Vivi was not paying attention, and he lost a scout already. Leary has be huge map control. Too. Okay, Leary's going to see it, but Vivi will pull it back in time. Once again, not garrisoning the TC quick enough. It's interesting. I think that there, Vivi expects Leary to run back, so he doesn't want the idle time. Kind of like how he expected the, the goat thing. It, it, we're not going to talk about it. Well, I guess it's good it, that... Vivi walled passively because if he tried yeah. to wall more he would have lost units and oh my goodness Leary runs underneath the town center uh <laughs> he's distracting the town center fire with the spearman as well that was interesting I don't think Leary took any damage to his scouts no barely any damage to his spearman either and Vivi yeah Vivi's just playing super defensively that's why he went up slower right yeah he had, he had a longer dark age he had more villagers better eco and he's hasn't even attempted to go forward. Well, he can fight this now. He has four full HP scouts. So he could fight this and he's going forward. And more scouts for Leary, though. Leary has three more on the hill. That's the thing. The dragon doesn't know how many units Leary has. So he's going to be surprised by this. He gets a few Getting hits. some great hits, though. Getting some really great hits and pulling them back in time. He killed one spearman and the other spearman. So now it's just scout v scout. And... Vivi's got a barracks there of his own, and a couple spearmen as well, so he could definitely take this fight. I wonder if there will be an archer transition in this game, or if they will stick with uh, stick with the stable units. Well, Leary's building an archer range right now, so... Yeah. There we go. It's it's a great addition to get some archers in the mix to kill the spearmen, and bloodlines for Leary. Wow. If Leary's mixing in archers, I really don't like the positioning of uh, Vivi's walls around his gold. He's got to secure that better, either with a tower or some other buildings. And the Fat Dragon realizes he needs to get some counterattack in. He's sending his scouts forward, and he sees a lot of Leary scouts at his base. Leary is dangerous when he has this many units. Mm hmm to me, it just feels like Leary's had much more control over this game. In fact, he gets bloodlines, so he knows he can fight. And he runs underneath the town center. Now, this could be good or bad, depending on how many losses Vivi takes. Vivi's That's also underneath Leary's TC. He's lost a scout. <laughs> he doesn't care, man. He doesn't care. And there's spearmen on every resource from, uh, from Leary here. Really good play from him. Yeah, I guess the gold could be exposed, but he walls in his villager on the archery range. Man, it's weird how there's been so many active armies, but Leary has not done much at all. In fact, he's lost more units. <laughs> Pretty incredible, yeah, actually. A, like, if Vivi was in Leary's position there with the scouts forward, he would have sent one villager to tower. Yes! I, I really would have liked to see one villager from Vi Leary coming forward to, like, tower that wood line or tower the farms or something, you know? Well, Leary now has the archers here, Dave, and no fletching yet. But the idea is to use the archers versus spearmen. The scouts are so weak, though. Those scouts are so weak, and they're being picked off by spearmen. It's re you got to be really careful if you're Leary in this position. Yeah, and but maybe still running around the back of his base with scouts. Oh, this is so so awkward. Leary just has so much military. Vivi's building a defensive tower on his farms, and he's not garrisoning his TC. Okay, he garrisons his TC. He gets the tower up. 
My goodness, and you can tell Vivi's distracted. He's losing all of his scouts inside Leary's base. Okay, advantage Leary now. He has so yeah. much more military control, and Vivi just lost all of his military. But look at the like, look at the villager count. It's it's not that different. Vivi hasn't lost that much at his own base, and those scouts are really, they were really weak. Only the strong ones survived. I guess. <laughs> yeah, man. And oh no, Vivi's gonna overchop in the wood line. The the worst no! timing for him. The scouts can get in now. Leary doesn't see it. He does see it. Oh jeez. Oh, the fat dragon's in trouble, man. He's sending more scouts to help. He's only gonna lose one there, though. And he's gonna kill the archers. I'm not sure if he will kill the archers. I. Let's see. They're dead. <laughs> they, they are dead. <laughs> it was really bad timing on that comment, okay. I admit. <laughs> and uh, this is what I was talking about with, with Vivi's gold before, if Leary was going archers. He needs to drop a tower or get something yeah. in a defensive position around that. Because spearmen and archers, he can engage with just scouts, and he's going to be pushed off that gold. He he can run from it for now. Vivi notice? He, okay. he notices it. See, he's going double stable scout save, and it's so vulnerable if Leary makes a lot of spearmen. Leary also heads forging on his spearmen. So forging on the spearmen and the scouts, of course. Vivi's, Vivi's getting skill barding armor, so he's going to have the armor when he runs into Leary's base here, but he he should remember about all these spears Leary had. Yeah, this is why you build an archer range, because you don't have an answer to the spearmen. And Leary will get in. Vivi fails with the quick wall. He also loses a villager on his wood line. And Leary has a huge lead. He's a commanding lead now. All he needs to do is defend from the scouts. Can he quick wall this? He can quick wall this. Don't run into the TC, Leary. No, man. How many <laughs> times? How many times is this going to happen? You know what it is? They're just doing so much. The armies are so active. Both players are showing they're human today. And Vivi killed another villager at Leary's base. Good. Ah, uh, it was good micro with the scouts. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 hard to judge for us, so I imagine in lag it's probably difficult for the players as well. But Leary's halfway to Castle Age. Vivi's not even close, Dave. And at game one he was able to all land in this situation, but I don't see it now. Great play, Leary. No, Leary's just got too much pressure on Vivi's base, and he's got defensive spearmen at home, so the all in wouldn't necessarily work. Yep. And Vivi will not kill another villager, and he needs to. And he's killing some archers, but even that might not be enough. He sees another vill, and he's going to run away. These scouts are too weak. Can't even defend at his own base. Yep. He's picking off archers coming forward, though. He'll lose two more villagers. Can he deal with castlage units? I think the answer is pretty clear. Probably not. Could maybe deal with crossbows, but once camels and knights come out, he's wrecked. It's those spearmen, man. He didn't have anything to counter them. He no should have rage. added a range. Instead of the second stable, he should have stayed with one stable, and he should have gone with an archery range, done the same thing Leary did. Leary built his range nice and early. And Vivi now sees that Leary's in Castle H. He does not call the GG. He wants to get in. He wants to do damage. Leary has left himself open to attack here. Why on earth would you leave that open? He'll lose his he's archers. A, yeah, but he's got cam a camel out now, and he's walling up the gold. It just it does give Vivi a bit time. Careless. Yeah. And Vivi still hasn't towered the gold. Well, he doesn't have the stone. Remember, he just had to run away from his stone. He's going to go all in feudal against this. This is a messy, messy eco. Three stables now for the dragon. I don't know. He can't kill villagers on Leary's woodline. He can't defend his gold. He just now gets the stone to build the tower there, but he has to run from it. Knights and camels will destroy the scouts. Even the, the crossbows with that many spearmen will destroy the scouts. Vivi's trying, Dave. He's, he's trying yeah. his best here. He's hoping he can keep Leary in his base. Yep. Until he gets up to Castle Age, but it's not... Like, the crossbows are into your farms again. It's just... It's just not good. Nope. This is not even a this is fine moment. This is just bad. <laughs> this is just bad. He doesn't have gold that's accessible. He's making the wrong units. He's sending villagers forward. 
Oh, this is the dragon. Oh my god, he's got a tower on the front there. He's hoping he can win this fight with just scouts. Scouts are so bad against camels, man. This is fine, man. This is fine. Oh my god. It's Vivi. He can do it. I believe, man. Five villagers next to ten crossbows and four camels. It's totally doable. <laughs> I love it though. I love it. I, I do think he'll need to resign here. There's obviously no way he's gonna get that tower up. Still fighting. He's trying to even micro down the camels. And he does. But there's more camels. Look at how many farms he has. Like, holy man. Well, that's the thing. I think he's over farming. He did it in game one, got away with it with double scouts, but I think he's making too many farms. He should have built the archer ranges. It's too late now. He has to commit to scouts, but. Scouts are so bad against camels. That's the problem. Like crossbows are good against scouts. At least the scouts have a chance to kill them. Yeah. But against the camels, like you're doing what, like three damage per hit, and and the camels have a bonus against you. Like it's just. Yeah. And now scale barding and forging and bloodlines will be on the camels. And Vivi is. I mean, he still thinks he has a chance apparently because. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I don't know why. As he loses more villagers, he's got to call the GG here, surely. Yeah. Even if you get to Castle Age, what's the plan? You're Chinese against Malians. What's you know what? Maybe he's lighting up another SIG here to relax before the next game. Maybe that's what he's doing. I often wonder if players, when they know it's over and they don't call it, if they're doing something like getting a glass of water or just trying it is to relax. A best of seven. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you want to tire your opponent out. You know? <laughs> yeah, Leary's going super try-hard micro, and then his yeah. fingers won't work in game seven. <laughs> Leary's 17, man. Maybe he's hoping his parents are going to come and tell him <laughs> he needs to do his homework or something. Maybe he's hoping that Leary didn't do his chores, and he'll, yeah. have, he'll have to go uh, do his chores. <laughs> now, that's too relatable, man. That I remember casting games that my parents were doing that when I lived at home. Jeez. I wasn't 17. I was like 20. Your little bitch. Leary okay. getting hit. <laughs> it's alright, I was just gonna let that slide. We didn't have to address yeah. it. <laughs> Hand cut on the way for Leary. Uh, husbandry, chain barding. I mean, this game is over. This, this game is over. You know, um... He still sends scouts in? He's, he's obviously playing. He's not AFK. He's into the gold. He's into the gold. But, like... You're in feudal age. You're eleven villagers behind. <laughs> Look at he's like he's found the gold in the back. He's like, we got this, man. We got this. Running to yeah, the corner. Yeah, this is just this is all strategy from Vivi now. He knows it's over. He's he's about to go up. Never mind. He just spent the res. <laughs> Third staple. So <laughs> he knows. there's a lot of scouts, man. <laughs> He has to know this is over. Come on, Vivi. <laughs> he still keeps running in. So many scouts. I I mean, he's I, going up. I wouldn't be Dude, able to. He's going up. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Vivi? Ow. Uh, oh my god. He is. He comes back from this. His towers this on his farms. There's no way. If listen, if Vivi comes back and wins this, Leary would probably rage quit the tournament. He would be so frustrated. He's on three TCs. He has camels v scouts. Okay, now Vivi calls it. Why now? Why do you call it now, Vivi? You're on your way to Castle H. Might as well play it out at this point. Finished his cigarette. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. All right, well, Vivi loses that game. Leary goes 3-1 up. If Vivi doesn't respond and win every game from here on out, he is out of the tournament. And Leary will be moving on to play Viper tomorrow in the finals. Um, has to be said, Dave, incredible unit control from Leary, and his feudal age pressure never really let up, and because of that pressure, he won the game. Mangano, 69 subs. What? Really? The meme. 60, Maganels, that's crazy. Jeez. Well, my goodness. That's even crazier than Leary's Feudal Age micro machinels. And now you're going to see 69 alerts for new subscribers to the stream. Well, thank you, guys. Uh, thank you for being here and enjoy the emotes. Machinels, thank you. If we could get some love in the chat for him. I think he's well over 500 gifted subs to the stream now. That's ridiculous, dude. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, 
players have not loaded up the next game. I did say yesterday that I was going to gift some subs to the stream today and tomorrow. Uh, I look pretty cheap now after Maganel's, but I, I committed to gifting 10 subs, so <laughs> please don't hate me. <laughs> I look really cheap for doing only 10 now, but I promise 10 would have looked really good earlier before Maganel's showed up. <laughs> uh, I am going to gift 10 subs to the stream to thank you all for stopping by and give people some emotes. Uh, of course, this is done randomly, so I'm not... I'm not rigging this, all right? And this should be a pretty quick process. Yeah, enjoy, guys. It's awesome to have so many people here today. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that looks pretty pathetic now, <laughs> I admit. <laughs> so, Dave, Vivi, not looking too hot. No, I, I didn't... Uh, I, I liked the later... Dark Age or later Feudal Age for him with the defensive play, but he should have added the skirmishers. Yeah, he should have added a range you know? for sure. Like when you drop that second stable and your opponent has forward spears and you've already run around his base and seen all the defensive spears, why? What what were you expecting was going to happen? Yeah, not sure. And I think he needs to go for a stronger civilization to get a win now. He just lost with Chinese. Of course, Malians is one of the better picks for Leary. I say you go Mayans here, and I say you steal pigs. What do you think? Wait a second. You have a, a Dave Ross Franker face emote? How long have you had that? I've had that for like a year and a half. <laughs> what? I've never, I, I've never seen that. <laughs> no one ever uses it. <laughs> God, why not? Josie's using it. <laughs> um. So anyway, back to the game. Uh, Mayans, what do you think? He, he has to use Mayans here, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking the same. Go Mayans. Of course, Leary has some strong civs that can play well against Mayans, uh, notably Aztecs. But I think he's got to go. He's got to go Aztecs. He can't go Berbers or Italians versus Mayans. Yeah, maybe you expect your opponent is going to go Mayans, so you go Aztecs. Could work. Either way, Vivi needs to win every single game to win this set. So he needs three wins in a row, whereas Leary just needs one win out of the next three. Leary, while he's winning 3-1, he's definitely showed flaws in his game today. Uh, wh whoever wins this semifinal and will face Viper will certainly be, well, will not be the favorite. If Leary would have played like he played in the King of the Desert Finals last year in the semifinal, then you know, I, I would have said maybe 50-50 going into the final. But at least based on today's form, it's been a bit weak by both players' standards. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Aztecs and Mayans. So we called it, uh, and notably Leary called it. He expected that Vivi would go with his strongest Civ. So we have a Mezzo War. Aztecs for Leary, they are really far apart from one another. This is a solid base for him. He can easily, well, maybe not easily, but I think with some walls, he can lock down his golds and stones. And then you have Vivi, who, is that an adminry? I don't think that gold is adminry. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about it. I think if three sides are blocked, it's adminry. But he's got four, t five tiles he can take there. Yeah. So maybe it's not. And that's really annoying, though, for your main gold to be like that. It's bad. It's disgusting. And then his second and third aren't much better. It's on yeah. the same side. If there was one on the other side, then maybe you're thinking, okay, I can secure that if I, I lose access to the one on the right. But yeah, don't see that happening for him. But he's starting off the game by pushing in a zebra. Again, the Fat Dragon needs a victory. So there's a lot of new subs in the chat. Uh, if you're a, a Fat Dragon fan, make sure to show him some support with that emote. I'd like to see a lame from both, and, and Leary's actually coming forward first. Will Leary be able to find anything? He might be able to find that boar, but Vivi will see it. He's going the other direction, Leary. But it, Dave, if he comes more to the south and sees the goats... Well... He missed the goats. He, he sees the goats. goats. And Vivi sees him. Okay, so he can't steal the pig. Now. Oh! This could be a huge deal. Now remember, Leary has a restart. Vivi does not. If Vivi loses Vivi's his sending, eagle, he's screwed. Vivi's sending a, a villager out. It'll be too late. I... <gasps> oh, Leary! 
No, he kills so Vivi's eagle. Vivi. Wait, that's so bad. Vivi can Vivi. see, but Vivi finds the pig, and he immediately brings it in. Oh no! Uh, I don't think Leary can try and lame. No, it's a one shot with the villager. He can't lame. Oh, uh, the piggy. Oh, the pig's going back. I know pig. Now he might be able to lame. Well, yeah. Regardless, losing your eagle like that is awful. And at the start of this series, for whatever oh, the reason, pig went back again. Shoot, shoot it, it twice. Shoot it twice. Shoot Vivi. it twice. Uh, Not a good start. I just I didn't like how he used his restart at the start of the series. Didn't make any sense. He had a good map, and uh, now he fortunately sees his pigs, but he's down his eagle. Are you kidding me, pig? Go, yeah, go. It's fine. This pig. It's fine. This pig deserves to die. Like, if I, if it was me, I would just shoot it with the TC. Like, it, doesn't deserve, <laughs> it doesn't deserve to be eaten. It doesn't deserve to be eaten. And, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that would be a highlight for sure. Well, okay, so let's look at this. Let's assess this. He pushed in a zebra. He has both of his pigs. He's down two goats. He'll still be able to advance to the next stage. But certainly not ideal. Leary has had a much better Dark Age, I'm sure. Leary has I mean, amazing he scouting. Even... He doesn't even know where he is, so like, mm -hmm. he's gonna have to be play defensively. Where's he going with this villager? Or he's sending this villager out to find him, or push. The, he's pushing the zebra <laughs> with the village. Why are you doing this? Oh no, he just shot him as well. No, he's he's like, yeah, I think he got out there. You know, and he was thinking, yeah, I'll just push this right to the TC, and then he realized how annoying it was, and he's like, no, nah, he just we're gave just up. Shooting it. Yeah. Oh, well, the Fat Dragon not having his best game ever. And Leary very active with his 2 HP scout. He wants to know what the Fat Dragon will be doing and when he'll be doing it. Maybe a Drush, Dave? Like, Do you go Drush here? I think you still have to go Man at Arms. Hmm, hard to say. I don't I don't know. I think he Maybe overreacted. He's get tilted by that start. Yeah. I think he he even overreacted. There's no need to run out here to get these zebras. He still had his pigs. He could build a farm or two, but this is just some idle time that you normally don't see from pro players. Very sloppy dark age for him, and Leary is definitely going to have a cleaner dark age build. And he does. Leary getting loom. Oh, I hate the mining camp. Ugh. I hate the mining camp, but. You know, he'll, he'll click up to the next stage. I don't know. It's just... What's wrong with that? You want, That's not you, bad. You want one tile gap in between. Like, put it more towards... But it, it works as part of your wall. <laughs> yeah, that's that sounds like a thing that pro players would think about when placing mining camps. I, I don't know. I just don't like it. It's, it's, it's fine, but it's not great. I think it could be slightly better. Like, you could build it... You can't see what I'm saying, Dave, but you could build it like this. That way they can further... Surround the gold. We're not going to talk about this anymore. It's Dude, not it's important. not Tetris, it, it's, okay? He can still mine the gold. It's not important. Not important. Man-at-arms for Leary. And Vivi will be doing the same. All right. Uh, and he's going to that gold. I wonder if Leary will even scout that gold. Oh, he did see it. Oh, he sees all three of them. That's so good from Leary. Look at this scouting, man. That's well done. Yeah, with a 2 HP scout, too. You yeah. gotta be careful. He doesn't know what gold Vivi went for. A uh, Vivi just needs to play defensive. I think if he were to run out blind to guess where Leary might be, he would probably guess to go to the right side, like more to the north. Okay, fortunately for him, he sees the eagle. He's got to take a real good fight here. Vivi has to take a great fight, and y you can't take it now, man. Oh, he's going to go forward. Okay, he's just going to ignore it, and he's going to wall behind. These are weird walls from Vivi, but it's working. If the walls stay up, it's working, and maybe he can get to that awkward gold from Larry Gotta wall Kappa. to the TC now, though. You can't let him through. <laughs> Dave. Gotta go right to the TC. He has no clue where Larry is. <laughs> he's, he's looking for him. Will he find anything? Yeah, he'll find him. I no, mean... go the other way. Go the other way. <laughs> No, this, no, this is Dave, the other way. This is hilarious because Leary realizes he can't do damage against Vivi, and now he's running back to defend himself. But Vivi defend isn't even what? going exactly. Vivi isn't even going to his base. Three hundred IQ plays from the Fat Dragon. <laughs> now he's now he's looping back. So Leary's gonna loop back here, and be like, "Where are those things?" <laughs> and then he's gonna head back to look. He's gonna head back to Vivi's base, and then the Man at Arms are finally gonna arms. show up. 
are gonna come in. Well, Leary is making archers now, and he has walled up his resources, so... And Vivi's about to finish his walls, too. Vivi still has no clue. Now, will he double back, or will he commit to this? Oh, no! No, don't! <laughs> okay, he's gonna go around the other side of the woodline. He sees the gold now, so he knows. Yeah, he's fine. This is fine. Just don't run into the TC, man. He's uh... gonna run into the... He's definitely gonna run into the TC. Oh, uh, no. He's going right into this TC. Because he's houses! Go back! Good. Yeah. Viv dibba, 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 dibba. Get out of there! Oh my god! No. Oh, it's so bad. And meanwhile, he's being attacked on the front. He's having to stonewall. Oh, he has one man at arm remaining. Okay. Well, it's a good decision to stonewall there. So the men at arms are basically. Well, for a second, it, they're basically yeah. useless. But the stonewall only has 200 HP, so this will actually go down pretty quickly. Well, it gives him time to put a watchtower down, mm -hmm. which should defend that area perfectly fine. Leary sees that, and he's actually, he's in with the man at arm. Let's go. Comeback time. What can this guy do? What can he do? Quick, get forging. Get the attack upgrade. Get the hill get bonus. Arson. Get arson. Get everything. <laughs> Let's go. He's, got, he's, he's getting close, man. Micro. Vital time. Yes, look at that micro. The fat dragon. Oh, he's so dead. <laughs> oh, he's so dead. Leary's in. Leary's in with four men at arms, an archer, and three skirmishers. Leary, don't run into the tower fire. You know, if if Vivi takes one villager from the front, loops around, and finishes that wall, he could trap this army in. Well, he doesn't even need to okay. because Leary's kind of trapping himself in. Leary's housed? And Leary's house is being oh, denied by the man at arm. <laughs> Let's go. And if Vivi could take this fight, I think, if he sends all his villagers, MBL style, yeah. and YOLOs it. Fat Dragon style, man. Let's see. 34 vills for Vivi actually has a vill lead. This is extremely messy. Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this situation for him. And it's Leary microing against him, so it's going to be complicated. Oh, boy. Vivi's losing some more archers now. There's lots of weak villagers himself. The man at arm did die, guys. F's in the chat to pay respects for him. I don't know. This has just been a common theme where Leary has more aggression and Vivi's never able, able to push back. Like this, is, this has been a theme every single game. Look at Leary's eco, Dave. He has 200 food. He's sending forward eagles and skirmishers and... He wants to get through that hole in the wall, which is still there. Okay, Vivi's engaging. He still he still hasn't lost a villager in this fight here. But he's sending the weak ones back in. And the men-at-arms are dying, and he's re-walling. You gotta finish that last stone wall, oh, dude. You boy. gotta finish it. It's not looking very good. I mean, sure, he's doing a great job of keeping his villagers alive. I'll give him credit for that. But my goodness, he's fighting finish with villagers. Wall. He needs, Yeah, he needs to finish the wall. He's fighting with the weakest villagers in his entire economy, too. Yeah, I think he knows it's probably over at this point, right? If he's not plugging the gap. Finish the wall, man. Finish the, plug oh, the gap. Oh, no! Vivi! Send, send her over! Oh, boy. He got it. He got it. This is fine. This, this is fine. He's still got a villager lead. <laughs> I don't know how, but this is fine. I think, <laughs> I think Leary has a wheel, right? And he's saving these four villagers. No, he's sending them back. No, he's saving them. Okay. I mean, the stone wall has 100 HP, so that won't last very long. Ah, uh, I don't know. He's not on stone as Mayan, so he can never get the plumes. Leary's now pressuring the berries. There's 10 villagers on berries. There's a, there's a 1 HP villager on that berries there. And she's, yeah, she's dead. dead. <laughs> uh, I just feel like Leary will probably click up soon. Great pressure from I don't know what exactly is happening here, how Vivi still has so many villagers. Look at the KD. 1818. How? <laughs> like, what? I have no clue. <laughs> that was, you know what? He is in a terrible position, and he actually managed to somehow come out of it. Yeah. I'm not going to say he's okay, but he's not dead. He's not dead, that's for sure. Market wall! Market wall! House! There's still a hole, Vivi. Oh, no. Oh, he can't hit the stone wall. Send another villager. Okay, is 14 HP. 
Micro. Ah, oh, he's fine. He's fine, man. That tower's been killing units over there, too. It's been ranging. Oh, there's another hole. Well, the tower's oh. now going to range the eagles. It's just part yeah, of Vivi's plan. It's just part of... Vivi's up to... But Vivi's almost up to Castle Age, dude. He's making... Okay, deleted that one market. He was making a market on the other side, and he's going out to Castle... Or going out to Stone. Is he going to try and go Plumes? I, I just... Now he's up to castle. How is he up to castle age, even with the market abuse? I don't know. He should never. <laughs> I don't get like, it. Leary had so much pressure on him. This is actually amazing. The fact he survived that. He is yoloing all of his former berry villagers to stone. So he wants to go for plumes. You're, you know and he's making eagles too. Yeah, you know what we the... tend to say, Dave. This person should be dead, but it's Mayans. So yeah, it's one of those it's situations. Aztecs. That's the thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's tough against Aztecs, especially Leary is so good at the eagle build. It's really tough to stop that. Do you notice how Leary multiple times this series has not walled his base? Like le just leaving holes almost intentionally? He he's not even building the houses next to is each Leary other. Is Leary going to the stone? He's going right to the stone. Mm. It was his potential issue. He had scouted that earlier. Oh man, that's not good for Vivi. Vivi's going to have to abandon it. I mean, this whole game has been really bad for Vivi, and Leary will hit Castle Age faster, and he'll have and Leary, Eagles. Leary is sending two villagers over to the right side. Is that for Ford Siege Workshop? Oh, it is. Smart thinking. Very smart thinking. Why not just finish off Vivi before he can ever get to the plumes? Pressure the golds. Did Vivi lose his skirmishers coming forward to that line in the middle of the map? I don't I see the lion. Did. It's near Vivi's base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> God, everything's going wrong. Well, maybe not, because the KD. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Vivi's gold is so bad that some of his gold villagers... I think he wanted to build a TC, actually, on this other gold. But Leary's in, and now these are eagles. Can't fight this with villagers. The Eagle Warriors, not Eagle Scouts anymore. There's still a hole there! For the love of God! Oh, Fat Dragon calls it. Well, I thought going into the semifinal uh, that Leary would probably win this set if he played top form. I don't think he played top form today, but he gets Neither the win. But, yeah. but at the same time, uh, thinking back, and especially this game, Leary did not wall a lot he did not try hard this in in some ways so i think he'll play a bit differently versus viper who he will play tomorrow and the grand finals uh of course mr yo and vivi very good performance in this tournament they are out of the semifinals but uh proud of them i think they had a good tournament it was really fun to watch vivi play especially versus yang wall he looked in top form uh i don't know what it was today maybe it was Maybe he was just outclassed, but he also didn't look very confident versus a 17-year-old Austrian. He didn't look very Vivi-esque. No, he, he didn't. He wasn't going forward with towers and stuff. He wasn't sneaking villagers. He wasn't doing a ton of YOLO strategies except for that, that first game where he won. And Baby Shark. <laughs> Wake up, guys. Ewo said, thanks to you and Dave for your magnificent casting. I remember AOC from the days of Mr. Fix-It back in the early 2000s. Do you know what that is, Dave? <coughs> Mr. Fix-It? Fix I... I don't know what that is. No. He said, the game is still fantastic, and you guys rock persist. Thank you, Ewo. Thank you very, very much, man. Uh, sorry to everyone who just broke their eardrums because of that. Uh, what were we talking about? Vivi was not very Vivi-esque today. I agree. I think that he's he has confidence problems versus Leary and versus Viper. I've seen him play versus Leary and Viper enough to know that he, he tends to struggle versus them. So I think that he maybe tried to go away from his style to try and get the win today. So that means the final is tomorrow at 17 GMT. So it is not 15 GMT like today. It will be 17 GMT tomorrow. And it will be noon EST. Now, I know everyone's watching from a lot of different time zones. 
If you look below my stream, the little countdown widget is there, and that will give you the exact time. I'll have to update that after the stream. But I'm excited, man. Uh, first King of the Desert, Dave. It was the best of nine, just like tomorrow will be. Viper won five to four. So it should be pretty close set tomorrow. Yep. And hopefully it's it's as close as it was last time. I remember the last game. Didn't Leary let Viper get a huge Siege Onager shot off? Well, okay. So, yeah, the, the, the final game was probably the worst game, uh, but the best ending. And, yes, uh, Leary realized the game was over. And when half of his Arbalest got, huge, got hit by Onagers, he just sacrificed the rest for the show. Uh, which was which was interesting from him to do, and not a lot of players would do that. A lot of people are upset that Vivi lost. Uh, but guys, that's actually going to be the stream for me today. Uh, still recovering from being sick, and I actually have to get to my nephew's birthday party, so I, I do have some work.